So for today's What What Wednesday question, we've got a question from a YouTube viewer that says, does it take longer with a fifth wheel to start to go to another site versus a motorhome, and do you have to tie, fasten, pack, secure things? What, what? So I guess with a tie, fasten, secure, um, if they're referring to a, a motorhome, you've got to tie, fasten, secure things no matter what you've got. Um, fifth wheel, motorhome, travel trailer, there's some of that that goes on with anything. I don't guess it was drastically less prep time to leave as far as like prepping the inside of the motorhome versus a fifth wheel or anything, was it really? No, it didn't seem like the inside. Now I've noticed in the Airstream without having any slides, mm. that's made it a little yeah, less time. Yeah. And we would always have to make sure everything was out of the way of the slides, but now that we don't have that i mean that's been a little different and we try as much as possible to not have a lot of stuff that needs to be moved and tied mm -hmm. down like we yeah. try to keep like as much as possible it's not always the case but stuff put away because we do move around so so often that we don't want to bring a lot of stuff in and out every time it's harder when you stay somewhere longer it accumulates more and more mm -hmm. but that's almost been an advantage when you move around you think man I needed to keep it at least tidy or it's gonna take us three hours yeah. to pick this stuff up and get out of here. Uh -huh. As far as the outside of a fifth wheel versus a motorhome uh, I will say that for us at least it definitely seemed like it's been faster to pack up and go and prep than it was with the fifth wheel. Now it's not totally fair to compare them because our, our motorhome had um, automatic leveling and the jacks and so when it was time to go I just pushed a button and mm -hmm. while that was going I'd unhook stuff and get ready and get out of there but I guess if you had something with automatic jacks on a fifth wheel and a motorhome it would be closer um, but it was still faster for me getting things ready. I could pull the car around to the back of the motorhome and hook it up faster than I could take the truck and line it up with a hitch. Um, and maybe that's just my ability to back things up versus my ability to pull up a small car. <laughs> um, and also when it came to parking and setting up, I could do it faster in the motorhome. The motorhome, it wasn't bad at all. I mean, it had the rear camera on it and I would just back it in and Marissa would, you know, cause Marissa was always spending time with Hensley. When you're constantly moving, uh, it probably took me, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to set up the fifth wheel and then maybe 10 minutes to set up the motorhome, something like that, maybe 10 to 15. So you're talking five or 10 minutes faster with the motorhome for us at least. Um, because I could do everything myself and I could do it quickly and efficiently myself. I don't think it's enough of a difference to defer you from having one or the other. Yeah. It's not like I'm going to go with this one because it's faster or that one because yeah. it's faster. Um, I think it's more about picking what works best for you, your family, your travel style, the layout. That seems more important because it seems like the time could be person dependent and isn't wasn't huge of a difference to make up for that. You've got a 40 foot fifth wheel and a 40 foot motor home and they're the same year and they've both got the leveling jacks and everything else. I'm going to give the motor home a little bit of an edge, but I'm not going to say it's it's crazy diff. Now as far as length, if you've got a 43 foot fifth wheel compared to like a 35 foot motor home, I will say you're, you'll probably notice a huge difference as far as setting up and where you can go um, because that length, it just, it adds a lot. If you move around a lot, I think it makes it harder, you know, as far as getting fuel, as far as finding places to go as far as parking it, angling it. Um, there's a big difference. Eight feet doesn't seem like a lot, you know, in a house or, you know, <laughs> if you're building something, you know, it, maybe not, but eight feet in a, with an RV is huge, mm -hmm. uh, the difference between those two. And I guess comparing the motorhome and fifth wheel to the Airstream, since we've got it now, we could compare that too. There's no automatic leveling jacks, no automatic anything on this thing, hardly, except for maybe the front jack. Which that was something Nathan was looking forward to, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, slice to break. <laughs> it is. With our fifth wheel and our motorhome, it made me nervous every time the slides went in and out. Um, but of course with the Airstream, you've got no slides. So, I mean, I think the amount of time I save by not having to mess with the slides, because you don't have to get the stuff out of the way as much. You don't have to wait on the slides. You don't have to double check there's nothing in the way when you pull up. With the Airstream, you just back it in. And if it's backed in, you're good to go. Because, you know, of course you want your awning to come out, but there's no slides coming out. And so even though you've got to get out and manually put down the stabilizer jacks and do a few things like that, um, overall, the setup time, I mean, it's been pretty comparable. Um, I actually felt like we were forgetting something. Like <laughs> when we were pulling out, I was like, it seems like there should be more we should be doing. Like it kind of, I guess, because I'm used to the slides and it taking mm -hmm. time. Yeah. And, uh, but it was like, okay, we're, we're hooked up. We're ready to go. I was like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and you're going to have to pick up everyone. And we have to pick up our Airstream. But again, because no slides, I think it's a little easier to pick up. A little easier to get out of here. 
a little easier to park because it's smaller. Um, but you don't get the extra space, so no, that might be worth it. it does that not might be worth like it to people ones. to pick mm -hmm. up the extra stuff and spend a little extra time for extra space. I think as far as driving the motorhome versus pulling the fifth wheel, it seems like a lot of your fifth wheels have more overhang between the rear axle and the back of it. So when you're making turns, I know I know our motorhome was a 39 and our fifth wheel was a 43 or 42 and a half or whatever. Um, but man, it seems like there's a lot more overhang <laughs> than what that sounds like. When we would make turns, I'd really have to watch the back end of the fifth wheel when I made turns and I'd really have to swing wide. The motorhome, even though you're higher off the ground, I know when we were looking at something to buy, we stepped into uh, you know, a Class A and we were like, nope. <laughs> the, our very first time RV shopping, we, yeah, we went into a Class like, A nope, and we were nope, like, nope. no way we could drop this. <laughs> we're like, we're getting, a, you know, we're getting something we can pull with the truck. <laughs> yeah, it was just intimidating. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, truth be told though, like driving the motorhome, the Class A was easier than the fifth wheel because you're right at the front there's not much of a turn radius you don't have to worry about the tail whipping around hitting anything and the car that you're towing behind the motorhome just follows you around um, if the motorhome doesn't hit it the car's not going to hit it um, whereas in the truck just because the truck didn't hit it <laughs> does not mean the fifth wheel isn't going to hit it we know uh, that from true experience yeah, yeah. so anyways <laughs> new, new topic <laughs> um, so yeah driving wise i would give the edge I would say even with a 40 foot motorhome versus a 40 foot fifth wheel, I'm gonna bet if you can get over being higher up and driving something a little bit wider, because when you're driving a truck, you're used to driving a truck. So it, it does feel different, but once you can get over that initial fear of being in the you know front of a motorhome, it, it's actually a little bit easier to drive. And one of my favorite things with a motorhome is when you're parking and you can pull in somewhere, like especially if there's no hookups, you can pull in straight on and have that giant windshield overlooking you know water mm -hmm. mountains whatever we did that several times yeah that and, was pretty and when awesome. it comes to a fifth wheel or or a travel trailer or even like an airstream typically you're backing in and the windows on the back seems like just aren't quite as good as the one on the front a lot of the times not always and so that's been our experience with uh, fifth wheel versus motorhome and then kind of mentioning the airstream as we get more experience with the airstream we'll do more pros and cons with that compared to the other ones but we're still getting some time under our belt <laughs> for pulling that but if you got any questions or comments just let us know Thank you